Hey, welcome back to the channel. So we have a watch in for review from the OFD channel. He sent this in. This is the Bodery uh, Landmaster Titanium. So this is probably the cheapest. Uh, it's under $100 uh, full titanium with an automatic uh, timepiece that I've ever seen, really. And it's very, very good quality. Um, the specs on this thing, we'll get those out of the way first. It's 38 millimeters from side to side. It is coming in at 48 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. You got um, drilled lugs, nice screw in crown, and it's a nice size crown as well. It's also signed. Um, you have like this dome sapphire crystal. You got 20 millimeter lug opening, and then you've got 12.9 millimeters in thickness. So the um, size is really, really cool. Um, it's, I love this gunmetal gray look about it, and it's titanium, of course. Um, it says that it has a loom filled tubes, so I'm thinking these are tritium tubes. And I think that's also very cool because, you know, tritium, you know, tubes, I mean, most of the time you're going to spend a lot more money um, to get that in a watch. Uh, so that's also very aw uh, awesome. It's a cost effective deal there. You've got your date at three o'clock. You've got this. I, I heard they have different colorways. Um, I have not looked them up to see all the different colorways, but this one's like a like a white dial and it's textured. Um it almost looks kind of gray with the gray case, but uh, I believe it is white, uh, but uh, or like an off-white, but very, very cool. 100 meter in water resistance. It does have a screw down crown. Comes on a very nice um, uh, canvas style or canvas looking NATO strap. It's very comfortable. It has titanium hardware too. I can't believe it. I think uh, Aaron said they were like $89. So like I was saying, under a hundred bucks. That's really cool. Screw down crown, screw down case back. Very nice case um, dimensions and just the way it's going to hug your wrist. Case profile too is what I'm is what I mean. I mean, very very nice, um, nice bezel as well. That's also fixed, and I like that they used a dome sapphire crystal. I think that's very cool as well. But yeah, it's a good looking watch. Um, very good looking watch. Black hands, black markers. Markers are I believe painted on. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm digging this thing. This thing is very, very cool. Um, comes with some nice packaging. looks like a railroad car, um, like a, like a container car. Uh, very cool though. And I'm going to have a link to Aaron's channel over there at the OFD, at the OFD channel. Um, and also, uh, this company's, uh, website, I'll have a link to that as well. Let's put it on my, um, seven and a half inch wrist. And then we'll also do a loop. Here shot. it is on my seven and a half inch wrist and it fits just perfect. I mean, 38 millimeter is probably the smallest I would want to wear on this, on my size wrist. Um, I prefer a 40 or maybe on up to a 42 millimeter, but that would be it. Um, but yeah, I mean, these dimensions are super, super cool. I mean, I, I like this watch. Um, I like that uh, dial. I mean, just the look of it. And then the distortion from the sapphire crystal. So they did it all right. And for the price point, you know, under $100, you cannot go wrong with that. Under $100. And you have a red tip secondhand as well. So <laughs> very, very, very cool. Let's do a loom shot real quick. Wow, the loom is also super cool. It's like orange. This is awesome. I really was not expecting this, but uh, for the money, you're getting a lot of watch. Very, very cool. Anyway, I'll have the links below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.